Hello everyone, this is Dr. Rohit Katawkar. Uh, I'm a microendurologist from Mumbai and I welcome you to this episode of clinical case series video demonstration of this clinical case of maxillary first molar requiring endodontic treatment. Uh, as you can see in the preoperative radiograph, there was a deep carious lesion on the mesial side and as soon as we removed all the caries and got access into the pulse chamber, the interdental papilla, which was severely inflamed, started bleeding profusely. We tried to uh, control the bleeding with some allostat, but as you can see, the bleeding started immediately. So, in this kind of a situation, it is very important that you get uh, four walls by doing a proper pre endodontic restoration. So, for this, I choose uh, this kind of a matrix system usually, which is a circumferential matrix system. Uh, this one which I have been using uh, since a while uh, is available in two different sizes either uh, 4.5 mm or 6 mm height. Uh, the system is called as Matrix Profecto. It's uh, available in four different sizes depending on whether you want a straight or a pre-contoured or a pre-curved matrix band. Basically it's very similar to your Tiafelmeyer matrix system but these are available in plastic and they are disposable easy to use for this particular case i used a six millimeter flat matrix uh, for restorative use sometimes you can use pre-contoured pre-curved matrices so after our regular isolation etching bonding protocol i used a small layer thin layer of flowable composite followed by a packable composite to create that missing wall <coughs> A 360 degree or a circumferential matrix in such a case helps in contouring the entire surface of the missing walls unlike our sectional matrices which may or may not cover the entire tooth surface. So by adding multiple increments we can basically recontour and rebuild that wall which is missing and reinforce the remaining part of the tooth structure. Having a fourth wall has multiple advantages such as containing your irrigants uh, your, during your activation or your irrigation protocol, uh, giving you a correct reading on the apex locator and at the same time providing that missing wall and avoiding any bleeding or leakage happening during your endodontic procedure. Once we are done with the entire buildup, we will remove that small bit of teflon that you can see which is basically placed to cover the pulse chamber. So once I have gained access I usually plug this with teflon and then do the pre-endurontic build up, uh, patch up all these small areas possibly with a flowable composite and that is followed by curing. Once this entire material is set and cured with the light cure we will remove this matrix band and then continue with our endurontic procedure. The advantage of these kind of matrices is that they can be placed and removed quite easily. Once I have removed my wedge, you can also notice the bleeding starts immediately because of the inflamed tissue. So after the matrix band is removed, we have a good clean field where we can continue working. For this particular case, I decided to also finish off these uh, restorative overhangs with uh, Enhance system from Densply Serona. That was followed by continuing the mechanical canal preparation and finally we closed this case and I recalled the patient in the second visit where I could do a regular single tooth isolation and completed the endodontic and post endodontic build. Thanks for watching the video. I hope you had a good time.